Hello and welcome to uh, Flash Animation Flash Chapter 4, 4-22. Um, in a, a moment of total honesty here, I actually pulled up the solution. Now I have done and I have redone this particular problem over and over again and it always breaks down. I always have an issue with it. So what I've done is I pulled up the solution. I'm going to walk you through your solution. And when doing this thing, um, do the best you can in making this happen. And I'm going to walk through uh, the instructions and what that the solution looks like. Um, but I have to take into account the fact that, hey, there might be some consideration here. All right, so the first one says insert a new layer called Biker. And this is my new layer called Biker that I've already inserted. Click frame one on the biker labor, uh, layer, then drag the biker symbol from the library panel to the stage. So on frame one, I grabbed this biker symbol and drug it over here. It says click frame 30. So I will then click frame 30. And it says insert timeline keyframe. So insert timeline keyframe. So I inserted my keyframe right here. So now I've got this and this and I haven't created this tween yet. This is what I'm working on. It says drag the biker to the position shown in figure 30. So with my biker here but I'm actually on position 30 I drag the biker from over here to over here. It says click frame 2 on the biker layer. So I click frame 2 here. And it says insert classic tween. So on frame two, I want to do insert and classic tween. Now, if you have this item selected, the classic tween will appear. So if I have, and I've clicked here, and I actually have that selected, I should insert classic tween so it allows me to create a classical in-between item that looks like this. Now, I, now, normally, when you play the movie on step seven, the, the biker goes all the way across right here. All right. So... Insert new layer guide. So here's my new layer. Now what happens is, is like I'll take my biker layer, and you'll notice how it indents it all the way to the left, and as I move it underneath that, it indents it there. So that indicates that the biker layer is corresponding to the guide layer. Then I want to use my guide option button click OK biker layer, which I did. Uh, and what that means is if I'm on this layer right here, and modify layer properties so modify timeline layer properties I should have this set to be a guide so it's called guide show and my type will be guide right and then I push OK that's already been done but it's set for it then I want to click frame one on the guide pencil and where I'm drawing this with a pencil now what's important when you choose your pencil tool here's your pencil tool right here You'll have the smooth option available down here. You want to make sure smooth is chosen. Then I want to click on frame 30 and the biker layer and, so, and drag the biker so that it snaps to the end of the line. Now you'll see this little circle right here. If I come along in here and I grab this, I want to move it so it snaps and attaches to the end of this. You'll see it move. Like let's see if, it should snap see how it moved right there it's snapping to the end of that line so it's actually creating that whoop, whoop. now let me just undo that real quick mm. so I'm just moving it back to normal because I broke it there we go. All right. So, and it, like I said, this time, this is very, very, very delicate. So make sure you understand how to undo things and do the best you can. And we'll talk about this one. All right. Then what should happen is I want to click on frame one. So I want to hit on frame one. And then I want to use my free transform tool that looks like this on this right here that will allow me to change where the biker is oriented to. Um, now I want to do on frame 30. So here's my frame 30, and I want to do the same thing to orientate the, bi the biker the other direction. And now with that item selected, I should be able to display the properties, and I should, like, for instance, this is my keyframe properties. I want to actually just 
display the properties of my uh, biker and I want to choose the orient to path checkbox. That's went back and forth a few times. There we go. So I make sure I'm clicked right here and I want to choose orient to path. Once orient to path and snap is chosen, that allows me to put it here. I can click on frame one right here and then I want to choose ease. Now ease 100 means it's going to start off or end, end slow over here. So it looks like it's landing. So it allows me to kind of move back and forth between the two. Now in reference to this particular animation as you go through, do the best you can. Now in my defense, for some reason, I tried this thing about six different times and I finally uh, got to the point where I had to just show you the solution because every time I attempted this particular one, um, it was no good. So when you go through and you're working with this and you have some trouble, call me over. We can try to work through this uh, together. It is a difficult section or perhaps it is just me who had difficulty with the section. I'm not sure which. So um, hopefully this won't happen again, but you know, uh, needs must and things along those lines. And make sure now understand in this particular case, I am just using a standard animation in the guide to poke the stand or poke to attach the standard animation with that particular guide. So if you have your for any further questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, thank you very much and uh, good luck with this one. This one was a little bit more difficult, at least for me.